Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, July 9th, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus, and this is your daily video market review. Stocks sold off sharply, closing near their lows for the session yesterday. Trading volume was below the prior day's levels, but that may have been more attributable to a software glitch at the New York Stock Exchange that shut down floor trading for more than half the session yesterday than a lack of enthusiasm on the part of institutions for selling. Despite the New York Stock Exchange shutdown, the small cap S&P 600 still managed enough volume to record a distribution day. Declining issues bettered advancers by nearly 5 to 1 yesterday. The New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line continues to look bearish, setting a new recent low yesterday as it took out its low of seven sessions ago. New lows bettered new highs by nearly nine to one. Our market timing model is showing a don't buy signal on the NASDAQ and a short signal on the S&P 500. A don't buy signal means we should not be adding long positions. We should reevaluate our stop levels and we should immediately get off of margin. A short signal indicates aggressive traders can initiate short positions here, although I would be more inclined to wait for confirmation of the short signal from the NASDAQ. Although by my calculations the O'Neill market model should be indicating a market in correction, the paper, Investors Business Daily, continues to show an uptrend under pressure. Our distribution count is high, but less elevated than it was a week ago, as several distribution days have fallen off the count due to age. In a bullish development that may have its origins in the New York Stock Exchange shutdown yesterday, small cap stocks outperformed large. Generally, in times of market uncertainty, large caps outperform. Small caps continue to outperform on a 10-day moving average basis. Our swing timing model is indicating an extremely oversold condition in the market. The put-call ratio is showing bearish puts outnumbering bullish calls by 1.22 to 1. Anytime puts outnumber calls, it indicates an excess of bearishness in the market, which in the way of the markets generally indicates an imminent market bottom. Cautions advised here. The don't buy signal on the market is an indication that we may have more work to do to the downside. Be careful. What we're looking at here is Moody's list of 177 industry groups sorted in HGSI, High Growth Stock Investors, by 5-day percent price change. The reason we look at this is that by noting where the strength in the market is on a daily basis, we can get an idea of where the power of the market is rotating to. The basic premise of momentum trading, which is what we do here, is that we need to identify where the power in the market is and get out in front of it. So let's see where the strength in the market was yesterday. Yesterday, home and office product wholesalers were up 12% on a five-day basis. Courier services were up 5.5%. Integrated utilities up 4.4%. The REIT index, which we've been seeing a lot of lately, was up 2.6%, and transport support services were up 2.1%. Let's take a look at the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 yesterday was down 1.53%. It closed at 1228.96. Notice how it closed at the bottom of its daily trading range. But it didn't undercut the prior day's low, which may be an indication that we want to put in a little bit of a bottom here. The Russell has undercut this downtrend. The Russell has undercut this uptrend line and is also trading below its 50-day moving average. Right now, we have support for the Russell down here in the 1211 range. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. The NASDAQ yesterday was down 87.7 points, or 1.75%. It closed at 4909, 
the NASDAQ has really been struggling with this 5,000 level, which it first tried to better all the way back here in March of this year. Trading volume yesterday was about even with the prior day on the NASDAQ. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are currently on a uptrend under pressure. We have five distribution days in the past month. The NASDAQ right now is bracketed by minor support down here in the 4888 area and more significant support down here in the 4847 range. We have resistance up here in the 5120 area, but more importantly, we have resistance at this prior trend line. And then after that, at the 50 day moving average right here. The NASDAQ right now is on a don't buy signal. Let's see what the S&P 500 is up to. The S&P yesterday was down 34.66 points or 1.67%. It closed at 2046. And note how yesterday the S&P 500 undercut its 200 day moving average, which we show in black right here. Because the S&P is trading below its 200 day moving average, our timing signal on the S&P has gone to a short signal. Trading volume yesterday was extremely low, but that's attributable to the shutdown in the New York Stock Exchange yesterday. We are on a uptrend under pressure signal on the S&P and have six distribution days in the past month. S&P right now is bracketed by support down here in the 2040 area and immediate resistance would come in here at the 200 day moving average. We'll see if we can recapture that area. Then the next area of resistance will probably come in here at the 2072 area. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. For daily access to our model portfolios, trade updates, and more up-to-date information on our trading strategies, please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push-button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources except where otherwise noted and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc, its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, 
Opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of push button stock trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.